Guys, um, I'm just going to share a quick testimony in my life. I know hurt. I know insecurity. I know fear. I lost my dad when I was five years old. My mom remarried. I got a stepdad. He died two days before my 13th birthday. My family slowly began falling away from church. And you know what? I said, well, you know what? I'm going to press in. I'm going to continue to follow and chase after God. A couple years down the road, I just fell, guys. I fell. I started putting on a mask. And I started living with regrets. And my biggest regret, guys, I want to tell you is that I didn't reach the biggest mission field that we have. And that's our campuses, guys. That's just been on my heart all night. And a couple months ago, this team, we were in um, Omaha, Nebraska. Me and a couple of the students, we got sent to one school. That same school, I don't know if you guys heard about it. This kid opened fire on the assistant principal and on his principal. He left that school and then he killed himself. And it doesn't even shock anybody anymore. What's happening? It hit the news for like 20 seconds. Suicide is running rampant in our hallways. And we're wearing masks. We don't want to stand up. If you want to see a difference in your campus, you've got to be different. The only way God is going to use you is if you are different. You've got to be that Jesus freak, so call it. I don't care what you say. That's my regret is that I did not reach my campus. I did not reach out to the people. I hurt the people that I was actually trying to reach because I was fake on the inside. And I ask you guys tonight, I urge you guys tonight to make that commitment that you're not going to live a life with a regret that you didn't have open up every opportunity that you had to minister to your friends. I ask you tonight, guys, where's that person that sits next to you in math class, the person you talk to in the lunchroom, are they here tonight? Why not? Reach them, guys. Reach out to your campuses. I'm sick and tired of the enemy having his hand with suicide, school shootings, people cutting, addictions, bondage. I am sick and tired of it. I am come to a part that I'm just disgusted. I ask you guys, I can do everything. That school in Omaha, Nebraska, we actually got kicked out of and asked to leave. And then two months later, the kid opened the fire. What can we do? We can pray, but the only people that can minister on those campuses is you guys. You've got to stand up. You've got to be different to make that difference.